What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be Daisy Vanilla Mod Season 3 Episode 1. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what happened to season two? I thought that each season was gonna be about 10 episodes or so. Well, really quickly, I just wanted to mention that the Fury Road server is actually undergoing some remodeling, I guess. So I'm not exactly sure if we are going to end up going back and finishing season two. It would be kind of weird, I don't know. But anyways, we are on the US 434 server today and we are gonna be doing some just straight up vanilla mod. This is not vanilla plus. This is old school vanilla stuff, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And by the way, if you do enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Be sure to join our Facebook group and follow me on Twitter. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Fuck. This is like right after I crouch down to try to avoid zombies. Oh well bound to happen sooner or later. And I should be able to lose him in this house right here. Let's see what we got. Uh, flashlight? That might actually come in handy because I'm pretty sure that this server operates on like a day-night cycle. Uh, why not? We'll, we'll take that. Uh, actually, probably help if I take that watch to figure out the day night cycle and all of that. A can of milk. A can of ravioli. Oh shit. Son, I just won the fucking game. I found a backpack. Cleverly go around that zombie, get a can of peas. Alright, thank you for moving out of my way, sir. God damn. <clears throat> Holy fuck! Dude, I gotta come up with a much better method of uh, avoiding these fuckers here. <laughs> if there is one. Let's... Fuck me. There's a million of them after me now. Let's come down here, because... Oh shit, I thought there was a bar over here somewhere. No, but there is one of those red houses. <gasps> a baseball bat! That actually might help me take care of some of these zombies. I don't know for sure though, so let me come over here. Fuck. I thought I was about to get caught in that door. Let me come over here and actually... What the fuck is this? Box of medical herbs. I think I found that um, in the first season, and I thought it was a, a wheel of cheese for, <laughs> for some unknown fucking reason. Alright, um, take these chem lights. Ooh. I did not spawn in with a map. As a matter of fact, you don't really spawn in with much. All you spawn in with is bandages and uh, some flares, so. For those of you that have wanted one of these old school kind of series for a while. You are definitely getting it now. <gasps> Shit. How many hits is it going to take? Okay, cool. Well, I'm bleeding now, but it takes like two hits. Or maybe I just didn't hit him right the first time? I don't know. I would like to find a hatchet, though. I mean, I've got a pistol, yeah, but... i only got one mag and... Pistol's kind of loud, so... We want to try to find something that will kill zombies, but at the same time won't draw as much attention. Go to the other firehouse. Ooh, that church is open. I might actually check out the church first. I doubt there'll be anything good in there. Because, see, like, this vanilla is so much different from Vanilla Plus. Like, Vanilla Plus, it's... It's a lot more just like quickly find a gun and a vehicle and get on your way about things. And the spawn, or like the loot spawns, are a lot different. With this, it's just. It's very laid back as far as the loot spawns. If you get what I'm saying. You might not get what I'm Fucking cans. You'll find so much empty cans in this mod. What is this? A 
A Bible? What can I do with that? If you know what I can do with a Bible in the game, not in real life, but if you know what I can do with the Bible in game, let me know. Still, motherfucker. I do like the fact that these zombies actually have loot on them. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that they have loot on them uh, in Vanilla Plus. I don't know about the other ones. Holy fuck. Let's see if I can get in here. And I can. Get some basic medical supplies. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Um. Can I please have that bandage? Can I have that bandage back, bro? Empty soda can. Now, uh. I probably won't be able to find a blood bag. So, I'm not really sure about the empty can thing either. Like, Jesus Christ. You see so many empty cans around on this mod, like around the map. But I'm really not sure if there's a, uh, a specific use for them, if, or if they're just, like, laying there. Fuck, those zombies are even fast walkers. See? Another empty can. Sons of bitches! Alright, I'm gonna go into the store over here. I'm gonna need something to drink. Holy fuck, there's a bar, too. Check out that bar. Oh, we got a tent. Oh, we got a tent. I don't know if I would ever use it, but we have a tent. It takes up three fucking slots. What do we got here? The infield mag. Might as well. Never know when you're gonna come across a better weapon. Binos. Definitely take those. Um, I know there's a gun over there in the corner. I just don't. I don't think I'm gonna take it. A lever. I don't want that. But yeah, I think the Macroft's fine. For what I need it to do right now, at least. Holy fuck. Ah! Back away. <laughs> that stupid fucking vault animation. Back away, you devil zombies! Holy fuck, a rainbow! Maybe that means I'm gonna have good luck and get some... A little bit more decent loot over here. I mean, I'm pretty well geared out right now. Like, yeah, I don't have, like... A, a primary weapon or anything like that. Ooh. Like I said, it's like straight up vanilla mod, so you might as well take every little bit of ammo you get, no matter how great or small it is. Anything out there on the roof? Nothing I see that's worth a shit. Oh boy. Okay. I am going to skip that bar. Because I've already ran out of town. Okay, so... Let's, uh... Let's try to get over here to Sniper Hill real quick. There we are. Eee.
See, because now that zombie's got to go prone and climb underneath the wall. That slows his ass down, giving me time to get away. Just in case you guys are wondering why I always, I always do that instead of just running around the wall. Hopefully it should give me time to get away. I mean, yeah. He's forgotten about me already. Zombies have the, the memory of a goldfish, apparently. Okay, those are just the loudspeakers or whatever the fuck it is on the firehouse over there. I thought that maybe I was leaving behind some, like, awesome backpack or some shit like that. But yeah, let's get over here. Just quickly. Look at that rainbow right there. Let's just go over what we have now. I mean, it's... Okay, yeah, it does do something to your thirst. I was about to say, I don't think it's going to do anything to my thirst level, but it did bring it up a bit. Um... really don't know what good that's going to do. It brought my blood up a little bit, I guess. It was either that or that milk. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we have a pretty decent start right now. And throw some of this food into here. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with those rags. And also... Should be able to check what time it is. Okay, so it's like quarter to six right now in the game. I'm not exactly sure how far away from a restart we are. But right now we're up here in, uh, in Electro. Should go ahead and start pushing west towards Cherno, though. There's a lot of zombies down there. I figured before I actually hit the town of Cherno, I would stop over here and check out some of these barns because eventually I'm going to end up needing a hunting knife as well as a hatchet, so the quicker I can find those two items, the better. I mean, I'm also going to need to find some matches, too. Obviously, doing all this if I want to be able to hunt and cook my own food and everything. There are a lot of zombies that spawned in over here. Which kind of makes me worry just a teeny tiny bit that there might be someone around. There's fucking zombies here, everything, don't they? What the fuck is over here? Fuel canister. It takes up all the. Oh, okay. It only takes up one spot. I will throw that in the backpack then. It's not like a jerry can where it takes up, what is it, like, two to four slots. Ooh, some soup. I love soup. 